Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be revisiting this extended gimbal setup that I did in a prior episode, then we took it for a flight. One of the things I noticed with the longer uh, extensions, so I've got a couple of the other pieces here, is I believe what was happening is, is I went back, I looked at the video, you guys saw the video, it's out there. Uh, I think one of the problems that I was having is the uh, with with the longer um, extensions that these cameras were getting caught in the prop washes from the downward, and that was what was causing that that alternating oscillation that you saw. Because when I took it up and I drove it a little bit differently, that oscillation went away. So what I what I've done is I've designed a newer version. And you can see it here. It's actually a little bit tighter, and uh, I'm actually going to adjust it a little bit more. I've got it in the center hole, but I, I have room, as you can see here, where the 360-degree camera meets the front of the unit, um, where I can pull it back. So I want to get this a little bit tighter uh, underneath the copter to kind of get it out of some of the prop wash, and we'll see if that makes a difference. So I've also, instead of using the ABS as I did in these, um, which is is really uh, flexible. I also went with acrylic in this version, which is far less uh, flexible and, and far more rigid. Uh, also a bit cooler looking with the orangish color, as you will. And then I again, as I mentioned, I shortened it up a little bit to kind of get them out of the prop wash. Uh, I set this up so obviously I have two mounting holes here for both cameras. Now this camera here, because I'm tightening it up, probably isn't going to look literally backwards but I thought what would be kind of cool is if this camera looks down and this camera looks forward and uh, hmm, I just thought it'd be something cool because I really liked uh, in the back well I should say in the back in the last video when I did this I had the front and back cameras and I split the screen I thought that was a pretty cool effect now I did have a little bit of challenge getting the cameras timed up uh, because this camera back here is kind of crappy, number one. Uh, and I thought I could do it on sound, but in the next video, I think I'm going to try doing is have my hands in front of both cameras and remove them to use that as my, um, you know, alignment sequence uh, to get them lined up. But again, I'm thinking having one camera look down, one camera look forward uh, might be also a cool effect. Because again, I'm kind of playing around with what kind of effects I can get out of this. But so far, this... Uh, this does look pretty cool, so you can kind of see it here. So I've got this set up. Let me kind of turn it around this way, and you can kind of see it a little bit better. Uh, and it's riding this gimbal, and, and again, there's a bit less weight, and obviously far, far less torque than having this long guy on here. So uh, I'm hoping that this will come out better. So we'll have to take it for a flight here pretty soon uh, on the next episode, and we'll see how it works. So. Tell you what, if you found it interesting, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, hit me up below. Subscribe button coming up over there. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.